is actually the Mega Man player. <laughs> oh he's, my god. He's one, he's one of those. <laughs> oh, man, sometimes you guys are going to come up with better tags. Anyways, let's get on to it, man. Game one, Elegant versus Waka. Uh, like you said, man, it's going to be a battle of like which kid wants to get, take the toy away. Uh, honestly, the one thing I got to commend Elegant for being as a player is he's always very keen on his cross-ups. He has a very yeah. strong understanding of like how to go for cross-ups. That and his incredible adaptability because he takes the beginning of the match, right? And he, it, this is playing out exactly how we said. A lot of fireballs, short hop fairs, he's just looking for punishes. But now Waka has gotten in and completely destroyed that first stock. I still feel like a, every time I watch a ma like a stock get destroyed, especially in this matchup, I don't actually feel uncomfortable for the other player <laughs> because Elegant can also just delete it right now. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, that was good on Waka to call elegant landing recoveries. And that's kind of the thing about mm -hmm. Luigi. He has really poor landing options. So Waka kind of understands, like, okay, I know how bad this character is to land. Why don't I just call elegant here and take the first stock and then put me up on the board here? 99, 107. I'm sorry. Three stocks to two at this point. Elegant with an up smash. Ooh. Not enough. Great DI, man. You're going to hold that right. Yeah, great DI. I cannot stand that that dash attack is an actual viable move in this game. It drives me insane. It uh, hurts. That down tilt pushed him far away enough. He's going to be able to go down. Yeah, just commit oh. that. But the misfire comes in. He gets attacked to it. He stays alive, but he covers it with the up smash being a little bit too aggressive off stage. Yeah, man. Once you. Man, the marquee of a good Luigi is honestly just getting misfire on command. I've seen Elegant do it a ridiculous <laughs> amount of times to the point oh, that dear. I asked this man to play the casino oh. slots. Oh, Elegant actually drops that. I don't know if that was going to be able to confirm all the way through, but he goes for a down smash. That was definitely meant to be a buffer down air, so that's another thing. But yeah, you're right. They Like, aren't Jesus must bless upon you in, in this matchup. You need <laughs> misfires all the time. Oh, most definitely. Oh, good up smash punish, though. Sees the cross up there from coming out from Walker. Almost at his actual smash tag in the game. Oh, no. This no, has you to have that out? This, yeah, this, nah, man. man. Uh, the worst part about this man is I actually have to go to the VOD later and edit this out. Like if you guys have been watching on, on YouTube, uh -huh. I actually put in little memes every time this happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I actually didn't realize that because I've always watched them uh while we're here. I'm checking I'm hunting really quick to see if Elegant happens to be streaming. It was currently one stock a piece uh at the start there. Elegant, elegant, elegant. Elegant is streaming if you want to pull it up on his Okay, give me one sec. I might. I just wanted to. Oh my God! Hold on. Well, it's currently down to one stock a piece at the at the end. Um, Elegant had a stock lead, but Waka just got an edge guard. They are now both throwing fireballs. This is. You can imagine this in your head, chat. Exactly how you expect it to go. Elegant finds the grab, doesn't get anything out of it though. But Elegant is up zero to seventy three, unchecked, looking for some pressure at the ledge, down tilting, trying to find his way over. I'm being your. I'm being your radio commentator right now. <laughs> this is gets another grab follows up waka doing a good job pressuring him onto the corner but elegant finds the back throw gonna force him off stage is he gonna be able to get the air dodge oh there we go there we go i Does got it. Get it okay here we go <laughs> Uh, my best. Man, you held it well. You held it well. I mean, so far, Elegant holding it well, man, because it was pretty much his opponent able to just get the first lead. Elegant gets this grab, this back throw. Yo, man, he has definitely climbed up from the time that we have disconnected, unfortunately. Yeah, that... Oh, yep, there's oh, another one. No that attack. one's not a tech, though. That goes mm. to Elegant. Goes to Elegant, indeed. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Elegant takes game one. Wow. What a great, comeback, great man. Job. Honestly, like it's it, this is one of those matchups where, uh, like, we're just in a lot of dittos are very boring to play. Most of them suck. I was gonna say it earlier for the Rob dittos, right? Rob dittos suck, and we, we saw it earlier between I believe it was uh, Ape Man and Bonilla. So that like was so volatile just because both of you are going for the same options that are both pretty much cheating options. You kill super early. That's this right. whole matchup. <laughs> like nobody wants to truly interact. Yeah, because you both know that your win con is is to get that one opening. It's literally a game of zares, man. Like it's a game of zares and fireballs, cross ups, and seeing who overcommits to what poor Luigi mm -hmm. option that they can punish for. Like even on the landing from Elegant in game one, right? Like he committed to that landing, but immediately Waka knows where to punish him at the ledge. This is gonna be a good grab for Elegant with the center platform, but unfortunately he drops it and will punish on the shield. Oh man, I love that's it. not safe. I love it. 
that is some, that's something that that that's a testament to a good reaction based off of uh, like any Luigi. If you play around the shield too much, or you decide to get aggressive off ledge the same way Waka got punished last time, Elegant's gonna die. You think this was like Egad's like ultimate plan? Just to, just having <laughs> just creating chaos by giving him uh, this. It was never about actually getting the boots. It was just about grabbing the people to kill him off the infinite. Um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm with you on that because I remember when this game first came out, everybody saw Luigi's grab and everybody. Everybody rejoiced, held hands together. There was world peace, man. Everybody was having a good time, and then Elegant just had to open the floodgates to just the the amount of insane things Luigi does off grab in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, you know what the problem was? We figured out that that tether grab is better than normal grabs. Oh, we, oh crazy, <laughs> right? By a, by a lot. It's a projectile. It's also another great way to force somebody further off stage. It's another great edge guard from Elegant right there. Now Elegant just stays on the move, and I like. I, I like it too. He's like he's playing in in a mid range where he can get a punish if Waka overcommits. Right, right, right. But I also, think... one that's just far enough away to like not get punished too hard. Oh, definitely. And, and honestly, I think that's honestly the best game plan for Elegant. And also, good stuff for Waka to just punish Elegant off the ledge for his aggressiveness. Because that's one thing I've always seen as Elegant as a player. He's very aggressive at the ledge, and the minute that you can shut that down, it becomes very good for you. Excellent read on the possibly the di, but at the Ooh, end of the day, it. okay, close enough, close enough. Yeah, just barely missed. Oh, that, that actually was a pretty weird hitbox away. You know what? <laughs> oh my god, they're both pulling it out of command. Gets the cross up. Elegant looking for one to get the style with the KO. And actually, both of them find the misfires. You know what? This is like. This matchup's actually hilarious. If you ever want to like see smash find its way to vegas this is probably the ditto for it you have to guess every time they <laughs> land if there's going to be a tornado <laughs> and, and odds I, on uh misfires i got a I got a hundred dollars on elegant getting a misfire on the third try bro that's what you gotta do you gotta bet it all in black but uh let's see good stuff on elegant man house. i'm about the oh. house he's gonna go and land, land with a tornado but the i was not gonna bet that he was gonna live that at 182. oh, oh great back there too but Man, these players are playing at the ledge at each other's throats at this point. Good. Yeah, good good stuff on Walker to just jump and get out of that situation too, because Elegant was looking for a hard roll, roll read. Yeah, it, you know what's great? Oh, there you go. Up smash probably gonna do it. If Waka got that forward smash on the roll, roll read, like both players can die sub 40 without issue because of how easy it yeah. is to knock them off stage. So Waka could have potentially gotten an edge guard and took the game away, but luckily for Elegant, that didn't happen. Yeah, he moves to one. Look, dude, I'm gonna be real. This is commentator's bias. I, I don't care who. I mean, I, I'm rooting for my boy Elegant because I've hung out with Matt a dozen times. Uh -huh. But I, I actually, I'm with you. I'm with you. What you said earlier, Ajax. I hate Luigi's dash attack, but I, the most importantly, I hate how of a goofball Luigi is. And then when he <laughs> wins, him being goofy is an insult to me, man. It's like watching like, it's like watching Yamcha like win the, in Dragon you don't like Ball the gun Z. Fingers? No, you like I don't. Fingers getting tossed on you? <laughs> no, bang, bang, see, that bang. hurts. <laughs> bang, bang, we got into game number three here. We got Elegant versus Waka. This this one has been hilarious. Like, if this turns out to be a 3-0, this is one of those sets that doesn't really tell the true story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. You got to watch the director's commentary, man. And, of course, you got to watch the director's cut as well. But nonetheless, man, a Elegant will get off with that tornado, immediately place this aggressive opportunities here at the platform, and Waka getting him off. See, I, I really like the... De I, I like Luigi Tornado at a disadvantage, but it really is just like, okay, I'm going to flip a coin. Now I'm going to learn how to properly call on 50-50 situations. <laughs> because right, it really right. is just the coin tosses, whether they do that, they go for their nair, or they just land in front of you and punish you for holding shield. It's kind of ridiculous. The one thing I notice about Elegant, too, sometimes as Luigi, he looks to condition his opponent so that he can read the DI out of like that force condition that he's applied. We saw that last game when he went for up air after the down throw because of how he conditioned Waka to fear other moves. Ooh, will it be the third misfire? Oh, no. That was beautifully done. Beautifully done. Not only did he cover him by getting him to go low and force him to have to finally use that jump because you have to hold on to that as Luigi. Uh, oh, actually knew that that wasn't going to work. So just like reset and got positional throw too. Goes all the way off stage, but doesn't get the, <laughs> doesn't get the hit. This match has been <laughs> ridiculous. 
It's comedy hour, man. It's, oh, and the third misfire. What was that? A hundred dollars on Elegant, ladies and gentlemen. On the third misfire. Wait, wait, wait. Was that number three? Was that was that number three. One? That was the third. I told you it was a hundred dollars on the third misfire, man. Right. Elegant. If you guys, you guys are betting stocks out here. I'm betting on Elegant to the moon. I'm telling you, Yo, man. Yeah, somebody, somebody edit that. Somebody get the beginning portion where he called that, and then make sure you plan it afterwards. Good anti-air up smash. You have to realize that Elegant was gonna swing Waka with a two-stock lead, which could disappear very quickly. But this is a really good opening. Doesn't get the cross-up though. All right, Elegant looking for an opportunity to call out the line. Like we said, I think it's going to be the ultimate match of how well they condition each other. Oh, man. Uh, the synchronized grabbing there. That's like synchronized swimming here in SoCal pretty much. You know, it's, you know, it's fun. Oh, good job calling out that. I actually really like that option. Go for Ooh. the grab. And then whiffs the up B looking for the follow-up. Elegant finds it. Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> that, that's so ridiculous. It is, man. This match is pure comedy gold. Okay. Oh, that could like, be it. No, no, no. He's, oh, yeah. He, he's way too low. I think one thing you pointed out, Ajax, that I like what you said, is the way that Waka edge guards elegant. He's really good at edge. I mean, honestly, you main Luigi, right? But, like, he's really keen on edge guarding some of Elegant's habits, using directional air dodge and opting to go low with the misfires mm -hmm. or the side special. And that's really good for Waka to just understand that because there's been several times where, like, Elegant will use an aerial air dodge or directional air dodge, and he'll just immediately go towards the stage at a point that Waka can just easily read it or pretty much have that situation forced out. We can punish it. Yeah, honestly, like, if, if anybody's having issues with this matchup, Obviously, you got to run away from the grab at the beginning, right? You got to work on that. But more importantly, make sure that you understand how to properly edge guard Luigi. Because if you can't force them into situations where they have to blow that jump and pretty pretty much rely on that misfire or a well-placed side B, you're kind of giving them a free situation. That's their worst disadvantage state in this match yeah. uh, or in any matchup. So you can't let them get away with that for free. Exactly. The minute you see Luigi off stage, man, you literally have to look at him like he's the weakest link, the the the, the smallest fish in the pond, man. You just gotta go after him because you can't let him get back on the stage, especially how good of a grappler he is. But we'll see what Walker can do here, as he was able to punish Elegant, gets the jab. What a pop! Look, that's what I'm saying, man. He's getting aggressive. Like he knows like, I can't let Elegant get back on the stage for free at all. I can't let this man take away or run away with anything at at any given opportunity but elegant also still finding off the stage great forward or just to make sure he can send him up into a tech situation likewise on elegant side too you see elegant realizes like look i have to get these trades i have to preemptively put out an, a hitbox to make sure that i win on the air to airs because otherwise i lose that is a good position that forces him to go low then covers it with the drop down side b elegant knew 100 percent where that uh luigi missile was going to go to yeah oh, it, it was a great play still too. no Oh, watch yourself, Walker. Yeah, even look, that's the scariest thing about Elegant, too. That's a punish. Yeah, that's a punish. I've seen way too many people hit Luigi on shield, and that's just a free up B, and it's over. Mm -hmm. Like, your opportunity in this matchup is, like you said, play the mid range. Elegant is so keen on playing the mid range against Walker. Why? Because he knows if Walker gets that grab, that up B out of shield, it's curtains on that stock. Yeah, that's pretty much where Elegant's been like winning when where Waka's been winning on the offstage play, the edge guards, the ledge traps. So if Waka can start getting that mid-range out, I like the fact that Waka's starting to slow it down. I mean, you're on last stock of your potential tournament life, but he's, he's slowing it down properly. Like, you don't want to give uh, Elegant a free approach, but make it so he's got to work for it. Yeah. Oh, oh Mr. Oh, grab. Oh, but what still, look, <laughs> look at the percentage. So that's, like I said, that's still the scariest thing about Luigi. And is even if you don't die, you're taking like at least 50 plus percent from that one grab. Great mm -hmm. downer out of the shield. Definitely cuts his man mashing at the ledge. That's going to be a back throw for stage positioning and the edge guard. Forcing the low recovery. Elegant with the master plan. Will he get this get up call. option? Oh, actually oh, just waits it out. I, I was reading the jump call and it was there too. But Elegant did put the back air out. Elegant is going to wait for it this time. I mean, for Elegant too, you actually don't even need to go for that preemptive jump call. You, you're at 15% of second stock. You can chill. Oh, yeah, definitely. You never want to let go of your lead. If you have the uh -oh. opportunity, man, hold that lead as much as possible. Good stuff on Walker, though. Immediately missing the smash attack. Trying to take back center stage so it can stop Elegant. All right. Slow on the jabs I'm, here. I'm going to say it right now. Elegant is playing with his food. I, oh, he, I like, he is. He is. W Waka is... Uh, Walker's like get, looking for openings, but yeah, Elegant was was 100% not willing to be happy unless he got like a jab, stagger, force a roll or something in up B. <laughs> That's 100% what he, oh, Elegant dude. was looking for. That or a down taunt at the ledge or something, but good he job was... for Elegant taking a 3-1.